So today I'll show you how to how I uh, unmount my JL Audio W7 speaker. The foam is damaged on the side. I already took the speaker out. So this is usually in the front here with the speaker inside. You will use a wrench, like a, like a key wrench, to undo these four bolts and take this out. And when this comes out, the speaker, you, you, you fold the, the uh, you fold the cone back, the foam back right here. You lift it up, fold it back, and you see the screw holes right here. So you unscrew it, and then you have the uh, positive and negative wire connections inside. You disconnect that. Hello. Let me just roll this around so you can see that. And uh, then there's a ring. It goes around here. I'll show, I'll show that in part two of this video when I start putting on the the, uh, the new foam. I just ordered it and I just got it. You take the ring out. Just use a, a flat, flat uh, screwdriver and pry it up, and the ring just come right out. It's like a, it's like a ring. It's like a, a wire that sits just around here to keep the foam down. And then there's a clamp also that goes on. I'll, I'll show that in part two of my video, how to reinstall it. And what I did, my, uh, my dust cap was kind of damaged prior. Or before I got a, I got some damage to it, so I fixed that. And what I did is that I removed just the foam. I didn't even take the uh, the inner one, the the outer uh, dust cap out. I just leave that on. We removed the uh, the foam out here, and uh, the new foam just fits right on top. You don't even have to take you don't even have to take the dust the dust cap out. It should be fine. It fit right on top. You put a glue right up here. You clean it up. Put a glue right on top. Mm -hmm. And uh, the new one should just fit right on there. And uh, like I said, in part two of my uh, of my video, I'll show you the uh, the assembly of the uh, of the new foam. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Subscribe, please. Thanks.